Hello everyone, this is Elias Mohose, and I want to share with you today about how you can do an effective invitation. Now, how to invite your guest is one of the major skills that you will need as a networker. Because you see, our business thrives on being able to build a very big team. So before you can learn how to manage a team, your first challenge is how you can start, you know, growing your team, how to get the first people. And that means that you're going to need to learn how to make an effective invitation. I'll share with you three tips, in my opinion, that I have worked for me over the years as I invite guests, as I build teams uh, you, during my network marketing business. Um, the first one is keeping it short. When you are making an invitation to someone, always make it as short as possible. Uh, one of the mistakes that people make when they're inviting is to start with chit chats or some irrelevances as they invite guests. So when you do that, it kind of waters down your invitation and sometimes that's the reason as to why at times you call people and you don't end up inviting them because the invitation came as a by the way. Uh, in my book I called that one sandwiching the invitation, starting with irrelevances put the invitation in the middle, and then you end with the relevances. In that way, the person does not take the invitation phone call very serious. So what I always teach my team is to give a very short greeting, and then you go straight to the invitation. Hello, Arnold. The reason why I'm calling you today it is because I have a fantastic business opportunity. Then you continue. Or you can say, hello, Alan. How are you doing today? I'm calling you over a very important matter. I've found a very good business idea, which if we do together, we can become successful. So you see, in that case, a short greeting and straight to the invitation. The second point is to personalize the invitation. You know, no one wants to just join the bandwagon. Are we together? So everyone wants to be invited as an individual. Someone wants to feel important. And once you don't make someone feel that you have Pick them out of the so many friends you have. You have handpicked them and you want them as your business partners. Once they don't feel that importance, many times they may not come. The moment someone feels that you are just inviting them just like everyone else, it, that, what, that is the reason why someone may not come uh, when you invite them for a presentation. So, how are some of the ways you can personalize an invitation? Number one, you can use someone's profession. Let us say someone is a doctor. Uh, maybe someone's an accountant. So this is what you're going to say. Hello, Arnold. It's Elias Mohs here. I found a very fantastic business opportunity. And you who is in the medical field, this is a very good fit. Something of the sort. Or maybe someone who is an accountant. Maybe you could invite them this way. You say, hello, Alan. This is Elias Mohs. I found a wonderful business opportunity. And you who is an accountant, I know you're very good at numbers. When I make this presentation, it will make a lot of sense to you. So in that way, Arnold feels that you invited them because uh, they are medical personnel. That means that you are, you know, that's the reason why you invited them. Alan feels that you invited them because they are an accountant. So in that way, because they feel you have handpicked them out of so many people, that, that is the reason for them to come for the, your presentation. The second way you can personalize an invitation could be location. A location could be where someone stays, maybe uh, their country, their region, something of the sort. So in that way, you personalize it by, you know, maybe you can say, Hello, Arnold, Elias Moss here. I have a very good business opportunity and I'm looking for partners in your region. And naturally, I thought about you. Let us meet over a cup of coffee. we we'll go through the idea. If you like it, then we can be able to work together, especially as we expand in your region, something of the sort. So location is a very good way to also personalize an invitation. Sometimes, even when you know someone just comes from there, maybe they are working with you, uh, um, uh, maybe in your particular city where you're staying, but you know that originally they come from there. Maybe they know people in that region. That is a very good excuse to package your invitation, you looking at the location where that person comes from or where they know a lot of people. The other way to personalize the invitation is also using someone's character. Let us say someone is, uh, uh, maybe um, uh, someone's character could be, maybe he's uh, a, a public speaker, uh, someone could be, uh, you know, quiet or not quiet, could be an introvert or an extrovert. Like, you know, our business of network marketing 
it cuts across every everyone's character can be able to fit in so you look at someone's character and then maybe someone is friendly afford a business opportunity and you know as you as a very friendly person it because the business involves team building why don't we meet over a cup of coffee and share with you and you see how your strength your character can be able to help you make more what more money are we together and, and so you can be able to look at areas where someone has a strength and in that way you have personalized the invitation the other one could be previous dealings. If you have dealt with someone previously, then look, look uh, depending on how your previous dealings were, it's a very, very good way to, to, uh, to personalize the invitation looking at your previous dealings. Maybe when we worked together at so-and-so's wedding, you were such, you know, a great team leader, and I felt that uh, when I got this opportunity, naturally I thought about you. Are we together? Or when I was working with you in the bank, you were such, you know, uh, a team builder, you were such a team player, something of the sort. So I thought about working with you once again, something of the sort. So, um, and there are many ways you can personalize the invitation. Uh, you just have to think about some information you know about someone or your previous dealings with them, any information you have on someone is a very good way to look for a way to personalize an invitation for anyone. Now, the number three a tip in, a, in, in making an effective presentation um, is posture. Now, posture, however good your invitation is, maybe you have kept it short, you have personalized it, you have complimented someone, uh, however good that is, if you show lack of posture, many times people cannot be able to join you or they cannot be able to work with you or they will not come for your invitation. So posture, in this case, um, um, it's about having a strong voice and your body language. Both your voice and your body language must show posture. One of the uh, uh, um, um, tips I train uh, people when I'm teaching about invitation is number one, to always speak loudly and number two, to much better if you are making an invitation phone call, to stand up, you walk around through the room so that you are showing some energy. In that way, you are speaking like a person who knows what you're talking about. No one will join you if you show that you are weak, if you show that maybe you are scared, if you show that you are timid. Imagine someone wanted to, uh, to do a business with you or maybe you want to do business with someone, but you know they're all timid, they're all shy, they're all cold. You cannot be able to partner with them because they are not a very good business person. So um, uh, uh, we must be able to keep your posture so that the person feels that you are worth partnering with. You are the kind of person they can trust with their money. You are the kind of person they can join. You remember, people don't join companies. People join their friends. People join other people. Um, thank you for listening to me. I want to recommend this beautiful book of mine, The Master Key to Network Marketing Success. When you go to the chapter on inviting, you're going to get so many ideas on how you can be able to craft and personalize your invitation. The, the beauty about it is that this book is already available on Amazon and you can just go to Amazon and buy a copy or an online book for yourself and you are able to benefit. There are so many tips I share in my book and I hope that you, you subscribe to my channel today and you can be able to keep on getting more tips. Thank you very much. God bless you.